Well, hello. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of a Mobile 225 fountain pen. And what makes this pen kind of fun is it has that same Macrolon finish as my beloved Lamy 2000. So let's dive into it. All right, so this is the Mont Blanc 225. Uh, I think just looking at it from the outset, you can see some similarities to another famous pen. Um, this finish. Huh? Huh? Ringing any bells? <sighs> Macrolon, as in Lamy 2000. So let's take a closer look at it. Why, yes. Look at that. Nice texture. I always appreciate it on the Lamy 2000. Very nice machining like a Lamy 2000. Um, okay, Lamy 2000 would have a Macrolon cap. This one says Mont Blanc 225, Germany. And then the nice, I don't know, it's probably stainless steel or something. Brushed silver? I don't know. Uh, and then the cap finial has the nice bird splat that's so famous. And then on the other finial, Oh, whoops. Yeah, that one's broken off. That's what you get when you buy a vintage pen. This pen's probably older than me. Uh, open it up. It's just a slip cap. Oh, like a Lamy 2000. Uh, when you start checking it out, it's got a gold nib. Oh, like a Lamy 2000. Only this one's not semi-hooded. This kind of reminds me of some of the Caveco nibs of the era, which are very good pens, by the way. Uh, and it's a it is gold, even though it's white or silver colored. Um, and then there's a tiny little ink window. Oh, like a Lamy 2000. Except this one has one, two, three ears to hold it in place instead of just uh, two like the Lamy 2000. Uh, I will say, um, this pen, hey, had to do a lot of soaking and cleaning. It looked good when I got it, but that's why, unless it's from certain sellers, I always try them out. Uh, yeah, this one needed to be cleaned. Hardcore. But, it's ready now for some, what would be a good, suitable ink for the first impression of a Mont Blanc pen? How about some Parker Quink washable blue? I have no shame. Of course, the fact that it's bubbling is anticlimactic because, of course, I've cleaned it so I already know that it holds water. We'll do a couple cranks on it. And maybe one more just for luck. Of course, with this type of ink window, it has the exact same limitation uh, as a Lamy 2000. Yeah, I can't really tell how much ink is in it until it starts getting low. But whatever. I don't see any light through the ink window, so I'm going to assume I got a pretty good fill on it. So this belongs to that nice class of uh, vintage pens that are daily writer type of pens. And uh, I like it. It's got that understated elegance, but, uh, you know, quick to deploy and all that. So let's, before I get too rambunctious here, let's see how it writes, because I may yet hate it. All right, so multiple 225, extra fine. Uh, the ink in it is Parker Quink. Didn't I do a nice job cleaning that out? The ink that was in it last was black. Parker Quink Washable Blue. Uh, I'm not expecting a whole lot of flex with this pen. And I'm not surprised by that. This is more of a daily writer type of pen. You know, a little bounce is kind of fun, but you don't want too much because you're you're trying to write and work and stuff. All right, uh, wetness and flow. Seems pretty wet. I'm expecting in the 
smear oops s m e a r e a r oh gosh in the smear test to get lots of ink smeared all over the page Whee! uh oh reverse writing Surprisingly uh, smooth, ultra extra fine. That is really fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. So I think it kept up very well, and I am pleased as punch with that. So I think you can tell I was pretty pleased then. So how do I feel now that it's been, uh, I think it's been two months since I filmed that writing sample. <laughs> it is in service right now. I'm still enjoying it. Uh, it has a different ink in it now, but the important thing is I like it. Uh, I, I've i been lately using my uh, mobile uh, 32 a bit, but I like this one. Uh, the only thing that I've decided since uh, I filmed the video is I wish the section was Macrolon also because I just think it would feel better than that plain plastic. But love it. Uh, as for how it does in the pocket test, whoop! <laughs> whoop! Yeah, it fits right in. This, this is a good daily writer type of pen. I am just happy with it. Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes I think... Could this one replace the Lamy 2000? I don't know if this one could quite replace it, but it's coming pretty darn close. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with this pen. Have I said that a couple of times? <laughs> so, yeah, i uh glad I bought it. So, I want to thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.